Thank you, Klarna, for sponsoring a portion of today's video. They have a lot more that they need to pay for out of their own money um, so that they can learn budgeting skills. I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about how to budget, how much like your stuff costs every single month. You're gonna start making us pay for our own phones. I'm gonna make you start paying for your own phone. <laughs> yeah. Get busy. Get busy. Everybody get, get busy. I need y'all to report to the dance floor right this minute. Good morning. So it is just a couple days after the new year at our house and so kids are not back in school yet and just kind of going over like the things that we want to change for this year and some things we want to add to this year is we are going to focus a little bit more on budgeting and teaching the kids how to budget. A lot of my older kids that have kind of moved out of the house have kind of expressed it's really hard once you move out of the house to figure out how to budget and they didn't realize all of the things that mom and dad were paying for you know just the things that you just don't realize as a kid growing up. In fact, the other day, little Luke said to me, Mom, so you actually have to pay car payments? Like you don't just pay for the car when you pick it up? And I'm like, well, most people can't afford to just outright pay for their car when they pick it up. So yes, you have to usually pay payments. And he was like, oh, I just thought you had to pay insurance. And so I decided, you know what? I'm gonna teach my kids, especially my teenagers, a little bit more about budgeting and help them learn how to budget. Cause it is a skill that you need to learn. It doesn't just come naturally a lot of the times. And so we're gonna work on budgeting with them and I'm gonna call them down and tell them kind of some new things with their jurisdictions, how they're gonna be able to make money this year and what they're gonna to have to pay for with that money. They're gonna be excited because they're making more money this year, but then they're gonna realize they have a lot more that they need to pay for out of their own money um, so that they can learn budgeting skills. And so before I get to that really quickly, I wanted to talk to you guys about Klarna and thank you so much Klarna for sponsoring this portion of the video. So this is kind of how it works. You can add Klarna's free Google Chrome extension to buy now and pay later anywhere with automatic coupons and cash back at checkout. So Klarna partners with over 250,000 merchants to provide the most seamless shopping experience. The thing I love most about Klarna is their buy now pay later one time card usage. So with Klarna's extension, you can shop anywhere you like and you're able to pay in the way that's what's most beneficial to you and it's interest and fee free. And so this works really well for me and my family and it's without any interest or fees, that's huge. Plus Klarna has a great mobile app that allows you to log in, manage your account, track your purchases, pay in for anywhere and shop for deals. So you can just click the add Klarna now or the link in the description to add Klarna to any device. Thanks again, Klarna, for sponsoring that portion of my video. Okay, guys, I am going to go talk to the kids now about this. So what this is right here is this is our jurisdiction chart. So their jurisdiction. Joyful jurisdictions, not always so joyful. But when they do their jurisdictions, they have been able to get like a weekly allowance. Actually, I don't pay them for the cleaning their rooms. I feel like that's something that they just need to learn how to do and that's for their own benefit. But these jobs right here, they just get like a weekly allowance, but lately it's been super sloppy. And so they haven't been doing their job super well, but not even that, I've been kind of dropping my end. And so like, I don't really pay them, but then I'll pay for things or they'll say, hey mom, can you hurry and send me this for that or this for that? And I'm like, oh, I think it's about the amount of their, but I need to do better. I need to write it down. They need to have it all on their, you know, apps and they can figure out their budget. And so they know what they're spending and I don't have to worry about if I'm letting someone spend more money than another person. I know it's all fair and I know it's all right. So I'm gonna go gather the kids. We're gonna talk about their jurisdictions and what they're gonna get for that. But then there's also another way that I'm gonna allow my kids to start earning money. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I have like this bunch of just scrap paper for different holidays and things from just projects and so forth. So I'm gonna take some of these scrap paper pieces and I'm going to write on them some jobs that I want done this month, like hard jobs, like clean out the refrigerator, reorganize this closet, you know, go through all of Beckham's and Ledger's clothes, just really hard things. And I'm gonna to attach to them an amount of money that they can earn when they do that job. So and then I'm gonna give each of them an envelope and I'm gonna write their name on them and as they do those jobs, 
jobs for me. I have to sign the back. I learned that before I did this before and somehow a whole bunch ended up in somebody, I won't say his envelope, but I'm like, hmm, I don't think I remember you doing that job. But anyway, I'm gonna sign the back of them so that I know that they were completed. Then I'm gonna put all of them in this jar right here and just kind of make it super cute. I mean, might as well. You need all the help we can need of getting kids to do extra jobs. And so make it cute so they can kind of rumble in there and choose one out and do that job and then have me sign it in the back. And I think I'll get a ton of extra jobs done this month in this way. But guys, I'm gonna have them start paying for things that I have never had them pay for before. Like I'm going to have them pay for their phone bill. I'm gonna have them pay for lunch at school. You know, if they want to go out from lunch, like a lot of times Lily will wanna go away from the school for lunch with her friends. I'm gonna have her start paying for that stuff on her own. So I need to give them more opportunities to earn money. because we are going to talk about something that I love and I hate. You wanna know what it is? What? What? It, yeah, that is, that's true too. It is called money. Oh. Ooh, yeah. Money? Well, I hate money and I love money. You know why I hate money? Oh. Is because there's just never quite enough of it, but I love money because it helps us pay for things we need, right? And for fun things that we want. So, I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about how to budget, say that word. Budget. 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 Have you guys ever had to really budget before? No. no. No, not really. Like, so we're gonna go through and we are gonna figure out exactly how much like your stuff costs every single month. This is what you're going to start using for your own money. You're gonna start making us pay for our own phones. I'm gonna make you start paying for your own phone. Wait, so I'm gonna have no money. Because every single hey. month I gotta do my extensions, every single Okay, so what's coming that next? That costs like all of my money every month. I know, so Lily's already stressing because the reality is hitting of how much money she actually costs them. But next I'm gonna give you guys some good news about how you're going to be able to earn it, so. All right, so guys, add up your number on the side of by each item, add them all up for about what that would be per month. Are you just Her in shock months. right now or what? I'm not gonna I buy know. clothes every month. That's all, every month. So, Navy had a good question. She's like, I don't care if I buy clothes every month, but I'd like to buy some clothes every few months. So what you need to do is be like, oh, okay, I wanna spend $100 on clothes every three months. So you need to divide that into $33 a month for your clothes budget. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so whatever you want, that's a big thing. If you only want it every once in a while, divide it by how many months? Okay guys, have you guys added up your totals? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna no. start with you. How much total do you spend per month? Or do you need to have per month to pay for stuff for your friends and everything? $30. $40 a month. How much for you? $120. Oh, okay. You? $60. 60 I'm that's pretty better. proud. $95. Okay, not too bad. How much Delaney. are you a month, Delaney? Delaney is adding stuff that I'm going to snap. Okay, she's, snap. she's still <laughs> adding up. Wow. No, no, okay, how about you, Lily? Are you done? $290. $290. Yikes. How much? No, 11 Okay, how about you, Beck? I never counted. Oh, I right. do. You help out him up. Okay. I haven't counted no, yet. 40 Okay, you're 40 And how much are you? $68. 68 Okay, so that's a lot more than maybe you thought, right? Yeah. Okay, so for your normal jurisdictions, just like always, I'm not gonna pay you to keep your room clean, and your allowance will be forfeited if your room is not clean. That means even if you did your job on your jurisdiction, Paisley, but I go up and your room is a bomb and you went to go play with your friends, you will not get credit. I know, I'm just saying you won't get credit for your jurisdiction, got it? That's a big rule. All right, so me and Dad have talked about this and we feel like a good budget per month if you do your jurisdictions every week is about $50. So if you if you miss a week, 
that took off a fourth of your money, okay? So if you miss two days in a row, you lost that week's money. So it's like okay guys, so the third way that you will be able to earn money is by doing mom jobs. Now I put all of these mom jobs here for you to do. This is kind of a little bit of a Valentine's theme because January and February. But what you can do is you can choose one mom job per day of the week. Sundays, you cannot choose a mom job. And Saturdays, you can choose as many as you want. You take the lid off, you grab one of these out, okay? So this says, one says, I call out one. This one says, clean out mom's cart, and it has an assigned amount. That's equal to $4. Oh, wait, no, they say how much money you get. Yeah, this is $4. Okay. So when you do the job, this is how it works you need to come to me and say, hey mom, I did this mom job, and then I'm gonna go check it out. If it is done right and well, mom will sign the back of it, and then you take this and you put it in my your own envelope. Okay, and then at the end of the month, you each come to me with your envelope, and it is payday! <laughs> and that will help you make your budget on your list. So you what if you need you money it? right then and there? Oh. You have to wait till the end of the month? It? Well, here's an, here's Here's another thing that's gonna be for the middle-aged kids. Okay, little kids, you got what I just said? Yes. Perfect, bring me your budgets right here and then you are excused and I can talk to the teenagers. All right guys, I have gathered the teenagers together because they are actually going to have a card. This is not a credit card, it's a debit card and this will help them learn how to budget better. I'm going to sign up their like account to their phones and so they will be able to see what they spend and how their spending is going. Another thing that I'm going to do that's going to bring the reality of how much money really is worth is when they get paid in their envelopes for their money, I'm going to actually give them cash and have them bring that to the bank to deposit it and to deposit part of it into their savings. That way they can see the actual money because sometimes like numbers it's not as I don't know it doesn't really hit home as much but when they actually see the money and see how much that is and that they're spending this much on you know this or that all of a sudden your budgeting becomes easier because you're like okay I just don't want to spend twenty dollars on that I'm gonna spend ten dollars and save the other ten okay so you guys are gonna each have a credit card we're going to go to the bank once a month deposit your money I want you to put ten percent in savings and 10% tithing, and then the rest is for you to budget on this. I think that with enough of these mom jobs, you guys will be able to hit your budget. Comment down below if you think it's a good idea to help kids learn how to budget and pay for things themselves and save for things themselves. I think it's a good idea. Are you ready for 2022 to be a year that you learn how to budget, oh. how to take care of your money, and how to earn money, right? Yeah. And to save. Such good tools you guys are learning for your future, right? Wait, uh, yes. 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 yes.